Candy Case presents Abandoned Pregnant, the podcast show with Candy Delore. Hey ladies, welcome back to Abandoned Pregnant, the podcast with me, Candy Delore. I hope you're all doing good. Yes, I am back. And as many of you know, I've had my hands full for the past couple of months with uh, different other projects that I've got going on behind the scenes. However, I have been planning my podcast return for the past three weeks now and I've been doing a lot of research as well as speaking to some amazing single pregnant women and single mothers who I just can't wait to have on my upcoming shows. For 2019 we're still going to be talking about problems but from now on we are always going to end with solutions and I'm going to be coming up with a lot of them including how we can take action. This year I'm going to be doing many different things and it's taken a lot of preparation but things are gradually getting sorted now and slowly but surely you'll all begin to notice the new sequence including the different types of guests that I'll be speaking with. Okay, so um, today I want to talk about why men who abandon pregnant women and their children just don't seem to understand the anger that's being directed at them and about why these men have the nerve to be angry when they're the ones who have done what should actually be made a crime. Abandoning a pregnant woman and innocent children is evil and I think that the men who do it they're actually unable to realize how it feels as the women who love them and who once received affection from these men to suddenly be discarded unwanted cut off and just rejected some of these men were a crucial source of sustenance for these women then these men just cruelly withdrew themselves from them. So to understand where the anger comes from after abandonment, first we must begin to understand the pain of abandonment. When you've basically been dumped while you're pregnant and the father of your child wants nothing to do with his own child, any woman in that position is going to feel ashamed She's going to feel like she's worthless, like she's not important and like she's just beneath other women who get pregnant by men who actually want their children. It's one of the worst feelings to feel unwanted and then to feel like your child is unwanted too. Rejection creates a constant state of anxiety. Is this person ever going to want me? Will they ever want to be in my life? Is it me? You know, you're always in a state of worry. Women are left wondering if the fathers of their children will ever change their minds about not wanting to be fathers. They're left seeing, hearing, and like I said, wondering about what these men are doing after they've abandoned them, which is usually out there having fun. Meanwhile, these pregnant women are left alone, suffering, they're miserable, they're heartbroken, they're depressed, they're, they've even got withdrawal symptoms from missing the men who they used to be with, like maybe every single day of their lives, or maybe they lived together, but things changed when these women fell pregnant. Some single pregnant women have done a lot for the men who abandoned them, so they have a massive load of understandable resentment. Then there are those women who have put up with um, deceit, like cheating. And they knew they should have protected themselves from getting pregnant with men like that. And it results in feelings of regret. Then you have wives who have, you know, stayed with their husbands because they had maybe no other source of income or support or education. Because they basically sacrificed their lives to be wives and mothers to their husbands and children. Then all of a sudden, their husbands abandon them while they're pregnant, usually for other women. And then their wives and children are left to move into council homes and live off benefits. All these women who are in different situations have one thing in common, and that's anger. Abandonment creates anger. 
lots of it because it hurts when you've been rejected and it takes a while for a woman to begin to go through the horrible emotions of healing from it. Abandonment can create anxiety, anger, depression, suicidal thoughts, fear of further abandonment in the future, mental health problems and it can just put a dead end feeling in people. Dear pregnant women who are angry at their amazing husbands in movies, on reality TV shows and in real life all the time. So a pregnant woman who is angry about being abandoned, well, her anger should definitely be understood by the whole world. Yet there are still some men who seem to think that an angry woman who is reacting to how badly she's been mistreated is just plain crazy. How dare she try to defend herself against such an evil person the only way she knows how to by getting at him with words whether it's swear words, words on social media, words outing him, words in his friends and family's ears, whatever she's doing, she is using her mouth to talk or she's using her hands to type and some men just can't take that and can't understand why women are doing that. Uh, Well, what else are women who have been abandoned pregnant by ghosts supposed to do? Uh, I know they're supposed to have some pride and dignity by just shutting up isn't it because that is what real women do I think that's what men actually believe these days that real women should just keep quiet and get on with it and a lot of men will actually tell you this for themselves and then they'll have the cheek to refer to their mothers and say that that's what their mothers did so if their mothers can do it then so can you some of these men have seen their own mothers be abandoned and they think that they can then do it to other women and everything will be fine because their mothers were and most men who think like this do so because their mothers didn't expose them to certain things like the nights that they cried or you know um and they protected their sons from the hard times or maybe their mothers just had very supportive people in their lives. I think that men who abandon pregnant women and their children really need a wake up call about the hurt that they cause. And this year I am going to give it to them, obviously non-violent because they'll probably beat me, but (laughs) that's the only way some deadbeat dads will be able to ever beat me is physically. (laughs) But that it really doesn't help trashing them and I only do it on my Instagram page for my followers to help them release their emotions so they know that I really can relate to their feelings I have been there and I even prevent so many of my followers from doing stupid things by using my own stories as examples as to why they shouldn't even if they have justifiable reasons as to why they should now deadbeat dads you lot can take a trashing and a bashing after all you guys live every single day pretending that your own children don't exist so I don't even want to hear some of you act like you're offended by the things that I say I think that what a lot of men who abandon pregnant women need to understand is that they cause some very serious emotional problems in these women's lives. And I do think that it really does depend on just how much the woman loved the man that she was with. It's much easier to get over the emotional side of things if you didn't really love that man. Your only issue would be of financial assistance for your child. But when a woman really loves a man and he abandons her while she's carrying a part of him, it makes her feel like the baby is the only part of him that she has left. Which is why when some men abandon pregnant women, believing that it's going to make these women have abortions, they're so wrong because... These women are more likely to then keep their baby so that they're able to hold on to a part of the man that they love. Now, a lot of women don't understand why the men who abandon them at the very beginning of their pregnancies suddenly decide to get in touch after a point where abortion is no longer possible. Only then to be verbally abusive and disrespectful. Of course, these women think that those men were getting in touch with them because probably they had a change of heart about what's happening. But what is really going on is that these men have realised that they're not going to be getting their own way because the abortion date is cut off now. So now they know that the women are in control by not having the abortion. 
these men want to make them feel like they aren't in control they want to get their power back any way they can which is usually by taking these pregnant women down with self-doubt confusion and even playing mean mind games ladies be careful of a man who suddenly makes contact with you after abandoning you pregnant but asks you nothing about his baby yet seems extremely interested in you and your life it's not because he wants you ladies and that's what we seem to get confused a lot of the time it's because men like this want to hurt you for having their babies unbelievably sad but very very true some deadbeat dads and absent fathers are just angry because they didn't even want to be deadbeat dads or absent fathers but at the same time they didn't want to be fathers either so they feel conflicted and angry that this decision that the decision was out of their control these are men who are basically cowards and don't even know it and it's such a shame because if they just drop their egos from being out of control as well as facing their own fears these men could have quite possibly made great fathers to their children some deadbeat dads are angry with the fact that choosing to keep a baby is down to the lady when in actual fact these men should be angry with themselves for not eliminating the possibility of getting women pregnant from the start by making sure that they used protection but no they come up with excuses instead as to why they're deadbeat dads they tell people they were trapped their kids weren't planned and you know women just got pregnant against their wishes or that their children's mothers are witches and people are stupid enough to actually believe it all this stuff is bound to make any woman angry on top of their own feelings of abandonment men who are listening the women that you abandoned pregnant they've got to deal with their own emotions plus with how you're behaving and also with however their pregnancy has them feeling how their families are reacting and the added worry about how they're going to be providing as a single parent this is why they are angry and there are so many more layers to this and i'm telling you this year i am going to begin peeling them all back layer by layer single pregnant women your anger is not unrecognized you are not crazy for being angry there is nothing wrong with you i don't care if you screamed shouted and acted crazy and come across out of control in front of the fathers of your children you are angry and emotional and that is understandable energy is real and energy is released through our emotions that's why it's so important for us to build up our own positive energies around ourselves and then protect that energy and always vibrate higher no matter how low low people want you to go let them go low alone okay ladies the best thing you could ever do to overcome overwhelming anger is to simply believe in you believe in yourselves believe that you will get through this dark time that you're going through believe that there is a lesson in it believe that you will grow you will heal you will become stronger from all of it believe that everything happens for a reason and the beginning of that reason is your baby. That's just the start. Absent fathers hardly have any good reasons for anything that they've done. And these men are going to be left wondering about everything in the long run. So ladies, once you begin to believe in yourselves, you will be amazed by how powerful and confident you'll begin to feel. Don't let a deadbeat dad knock you. Do not let a deadbeat dad knock you down, ladies, okay? Okay, well, that's it for this week's podcast. Next week, I'm going to be having a lovely lady sharing her story of being abandoned during her pregnancy. So please make sure you tune in um, Saturday night at 10 p.m., which is at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, then please email candykidsbooks at gmail.com or send me a DM on Instagram at Candy Delore. Okay, well, thanks for listening and take care, ladies. Bye. Thank you.